All right. Meanwhile, back at the epoxide ranch, what we have here is another asymmetric epoxide, as evidenced by this carbon being tertiary and this one being secondary. And we have a decision to make here, not only with regard to regiochemistry, which carbon are we going to attack, but also what's the stereochemistry of our of our carbon going to be after we, we do substitution. Uh, well, the first thing here is because we're under basic conditions, we should expect to get substitution at the less substituted carbon. The less hindered carbon is the one that we're going to choose to go for uh, when we treat this with methoxide. So we'll come over here. And we'll take and make our six-member ring here. And what we see is we've got a methyl group coming off here. And if we're going to just temporarily not assign stereochemistry here, but we know the outcome is going to be that we have a methoxy group. So we'll go ahead and write him in here. And then we need to make a decision about stereochemistry. But recall that we came from this epoxide and that oxygen was already pointing towards us and that's precisely going to be how the alcohol is going to look. So for our alcohol, it'll look like this and this guy, he wants to be a methoxy group here. So let me just change that to a methoxy. Okay. And uh, in terms of its geometry, well, that nucleophile is going to come from the backside to attack this epoxide. So we should expect for the methoxy group to be pointing away from us. And that is, in fact, the correct assignment.